Right now at Gap Factory and Banana Republic Factory, save 50 to 70% off everything in stores and online. That's right, 50 to 70% off everything. Celebrate the 4th with dresses from $19.99 at Banana Republic Factory. And at Gap Factory stores, tees start at $4.99. Plus, save an extra 40% off clearance. Sale ends Tuesday. Search our store locator for your nearest Gap Factory and Banana Republic Factory store or shop us online. This is episode 679 of No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter. I coach people and organizations to play big. And given my background in executive search, I do executive job search coaching. I know that's a big shock. I'm also the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com and NoBSCoachingAdvice.com. And welcome. This is a show, Fridays, where I talk about one of those stupid interview mistakes that people make. And this one, well, I have a bias about this one. I'm a big fan of the single best question you should ask on any interview. And I'm basically telling you on this show, it is stupid not to ask it. And I explain how to do it. Hope you find the show helpful and let's get going. And I'm back with... Another one of those stupid interview mistakes that job hunters make almost every time. Now, I've spent a lot of years talking about the single best question to ask on any interview and when to ask it. And a lot of you haven't learned it. You haven't spent the time practicing it. You never deliver it, even if you know it. Now, this is a a technique that works very well on phone interviews and on in-person interviews. So yet again, I want to walk you through it so you have an idea. So let's say it's an in-person interview. You've been escorted uh, into the person's office. As the two of you lower your butts in the chair, rather than wait for them to start the conversation, I want you to start it. And the way you start it is by saying, I want to thank you so much for making the time to, to speak with me today. You know, I spoke with, you can use the ref, uh, referral to the recruiter who sent you, uh, or uh, you spoke with HR in the telephone screen, or, you know, you saw their ad, <clears throat> excuse me, you saw their ad online, and you can say, you know, I saw, I, you know, I spoke with Jeff Altman, I spoke with uh, Sheila Montero, I, I saw your ad uh, online, And it gave me a thumbnail of what you were looking for. But I want to get your take on it. Could you tell me about the position as you see it and what I can do to help? Now, you ask this question at the beginning of the interview before anything has happened. So that this way you get their current thinking about the job. Now, I want you to understand when employers approve a job description and post it on the web or they give it out to recruiters, By the time you see it, mentally they may have tweaked the job description but done nothing to change it online, with recruiters, anywhere else. So you want to make sure that you're operating with the correct knowledge of what they're looking for. So you ask that question as soon as you lower your seat in the chair. Now, if it's a phone call, again, just making sure you get this, they call you up, ring, 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 ring. Hi, is this Paul Provenza or whoever, you, whatever your name is? Yes. Hi, my name is Sheila Montero. I'm with such and such big entity corporation or uh, uh, Steve uh, whatever from small company you've never heard of before dot com. Um, I saw your profile on LinkedIn, and I want to have a chance to chat with you. Is this a good time? Yeah, it is, Sheila. Yes, it is, Steve. But before we start, let me let me ask a question. Could you tell me about the role that you have in mind and what you'd want me to do to help? And again, the idea is you find out at the beginning of the interview what their thinking is, so that this way you can talk about what you've done that relates to what they're looking for and not just talk about what you've done, which may just overwhelm them. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here's a couple of ways that you can engage with me. The first one is connect with me on LinkedIn. 
at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Mention when you reach out to connect that you listen to the show. I enjoy finding out who my fans are. Next, if you're an executive and you're interested in job search or leadership coaching, email me at Jeff Altman at TheBigGameHunter.us. In the subject line, put the phrase executive job search coaching or leadership coaching. I'd be happy to help you in either way. I want to be clear, I'm not a recruiter. I'm a coach. Helping you play bigger, having a set of eyes and ears on your circumstances so that you don't make mistakes that are costly. If you're not an executive, the best way to engage is with JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. I have the best of my information there, plus you can ask me questions throughout your job search. I'll answer them. It'll help you. It'll help other people. There's going to be a community of individuals there that you can also get advice from. Again, JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. I'll be back tomorrow with more. In the meantime, have a great day. Take care. Right now at Gap Factory and Banana Republic Factory, save 50 to 70% off everything in stores and online. That's right, 50 to 70% off everything. Celebrate the 4th with dresses from $19.99 at Banana Republic Factory. And at Gap Factory stores, tees start at $4.99. Plus save an extra 40% off clearance. Sale ends Tuesday. Search our store locator for your nearest Gap Factory and Banana Republic Factory store or shop us online. Right now at Gap Factory and Banana Republic Factory, save 50 to 70% off everything in stores and online. That's right, 50 to 70% off everything. Celebrate the 4th with dresses from $19.99 at Banana Republic Factory. And at Gap Factory stores, tees start at $4.99. Plus save an extra 40% off clearance. Sale ends Tuesday. Search our store locator for your nearest Gap Factory and Banana Republic Factory store or shop us online.